It is about 9.30 now. And today is very exciting because it's epic climb day. I'm planning on going up to Voltar 2000, which as the name suggests, is a climb that is at 2000 meters. And it's actually a ski station. Getting the last bit of fuel in. Mmm, almond butter. The ride is underway. I left at about 10 o'clock, which leaves me about seven hours of daylight for what is about six hours of riding time. I'm hoping, praying. Um, I am at about 150 meters of altitude, a couple k's in, and it is 8 degrees. California makes your face look new. Bad water. It's about 75 k's from Serenia to the summit, mostly almost all uphill. I've tried this twice before and I've been successful once. First time was just too bloody cold. When I started getting snowed on, I turned around and came home. Makes you feel like running. Those wires that you're talking through. This is brilliant. I hope you can read that at the bottom, but it says, put the no bike sign at the bottom of the hill, not halfway up, you f it's Totally agree, man. This is the start of the first real climb of the day, even though I've climbed 500 meters already. The Col de Capsa Costa. This is the memorial for Chavi Tondo. He lived not that far from here. Pro bike rider with Movie Star, I think it was. And he sadly died in 2011. About two hours in, 48 k's covered. And we're on the sign, Voltaire 2000. I think that's a biscuit factory. It always smells so good. So, first official sign for the climb. The climb is 11 and a half kilometers at 6.4 percent. I'm gonna take a second to grab something to eat, take off a couple layers, and then I'm gonna tackle. That's where I'm headed. Five done. I forgot how brutal this thing is. I'm riding 39.28 and I've been in 39.28 since the bottom. Just hasn't relented yet. Five and a half to go, eight and a half percent. I feel like I haven't freewheeled in three and a half hours. Three hours 18, to be exact. I think this climb on its own wouldn't be so bad, but when you've basically been climbing for three hours, it's 
to get to the bait just takes the sting over your legs seven done 4.4 to go that's the first sight of the ski station you can just see it nestled up there oh flat is so good back on the steep stuff three and a half to go On the final series of hairpins, about a kilometer and a half to go. summited that was properly hard um 75k is done time to head home before i run out of daylight but man check this out what if there's no love Seriously dreading the descent. It's gonna be cold. So I made it down the descent. It's freezing cold. Choosing your line when you're descending when it's that cold is kind of like trying to do a math test when you have a brain freeze. It's just, it's just not gonna go well. Um, so about 65 k's from home now. Mostly downhill. Pretty keen to drop some more altitude to get a bit warmer my hands are frozen back in Camperdon I've dropped below back below a thousand meters it's a little warmer and my hands are back to life I have about two hours and ten minutes to cover the the 52 case home Quick confession, I'm only 8 k's from home, but I made a petrol station stop for this. I probably could have made it home, oh check the sunset, probably could have made it home without it, but I haven't eaten since the top of the mountain. Oh the light, oh the light. So okay, I haven't been totally honest. This wasn't the only chocolate bar I bought. The other one's already been demolished. That's the 150. Perfect six hours. Done. Oh wow, you really have done nothing. <laughs>